All right, good morning there, Jesse. Anthony here with RMI Laser. Just giving you a quick presentation on um, the software, and I'm going to use two different lasers to give you an idea of what uh, lesser power does for just a surface mark, or if you need something with uh, a more power to give you deep engraving. So I'm gonna go ahead and start just by showing you this is actually the display of the software. It's very simplistic to use. I could teach my seven-year-old niece to use this in like two hours. Um, what you wanna do is very simple. You wanna go ahead and add names to watches. Very cool. All you'd have to do is come over here and click on text. Then you just click anywhere on the screen. Then you double click anywhere on that box and then it will bring up exactly the text that you wanna have in there. In this case, I'll just go ahead and put my name. Right, and then you can actually adjust the size of the text over here, right here, or you can actually change the text font as well by this right there. So you have every style available to you as far as what's in you know the English language that you can find on like, let's say a Word um, document. So I'm gonna find something cool. Kind of liking that one right there where it says my name. Then I'll go ahead and hit apply. Another way you can actually go ahead and adjust the text is by just dragging this, the corner right here too. Very simplistic. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, obviously how big or small it is because the laser will go ahead and tell you exactly what it will do. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it just a little bit. I'll press Control T to get it centered. And then I'll come over here to adjust the power and speed and step size. Now these are your three main controls in which will you adjust to get you the the look and design that you're looking for. With this particular laser, I'm using only a one watt YAG laser. Okay, I'm doing this laser to show you that this is only good for like a surface mark. Um, so I'm gonna change this down to 50% power because I need the laser to go slower in order for it to go ahead and make a nice clean mark. Now once I have my settings correct, the text in, that I want, I'll simply come up here to positioning, click that button there. It'll then go ahead and bring up a red indicator mark on where that text is gonna go. In this case, we talked about doing a stainless steel sample, so I want to go ahead and uh, do exactly that. Now once I know where that mark is gonna go, I'll simply leave it there. I come back over here and all I do is press engrave. Let's go ahead and do that. And there you have it. Down here in the corner, it tells you how quick it was. That only took 25 seconds. And let's take a look at our mark here. There you go, you can better see it here, like right there. All right. So there you have it. That's what it looks like when you use a uh, one watt YAG laser for just a surface mark. Now what I wanna do is step it up a little bit. What happens when you take a 20 watt laser? All right, put that down here. Let me grab my laptop. Okay, plug it into this laser real quick. Now that I got that plugged in, I'm gonna go ahead and take that setting off because I like this setting for this particular laser. So again, all I did was adjust the speed to slow it down. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the positioning. There's the indicator mark. Okay, and then I'll hit engrave once again.
All right, and there you have it. This particular mark took two minutes, 10 seconds, but look at the difference in power here. Because what a laser is basically doing is it's a source of power that's directing that power down to the material and scraping it slowly away. So by looking at that top mark here, can you can see it. But then the bottom mark gives you more depth, more clarity. So that's going to be a huge difference when upgrading into power. Um, not only that, but this was only one pass. I could have did multiple passes on this to get it even deeper. Um, you know, it's just a matter of what you're looking for, but I hope this gives you a great idea as far as our software um, between a surface mark and deep engraving and uh, obviously the difference in power. So let me know if you have any questions, Jesse, and thanks again for your time. Have a great day.